Hey everyone, HobbySide here. Today we are going to do an unboxing of the Proflux 4, an aquarium controller made by GHL. GHL is currently one of the leading manufacturers in aquarium equipment. I already own a couple of their dosers, which I really like, and decided to get the Proflux 4 Mega Bundle in hopes to better automate and simplify my daily aquarium routine. Anyways, let's get right to the unboxing and see what's inside. Okay, let's see here. Prophylux 4 Mega Bundle Aquarium Controller Set. Now, I ended up picking up this uh, black Prophylux 4, as you can see there on the left, uh, because it matches my tank stand uh, better. Uh, let's just take a look and see around the side of the box here. Uh, there's just just some technical information on the left and just a nice little layout of all the different attachments that you can add or um, the slots that are on the back. Uh, the packaging is pretty solid. I like a nice, um, there's a nice cover on the outside. Let's see if we can slide that off. All right, let's uh, speed this up a little bit. Lastly, for my trusty old knife. Alright, let's see what's inside of this box. Lots of packing peanuts, just keeping everything tight, making sure things don't move around during shipping. Uh, let's see what we got. First thing, um, four different calibration fluids for the probes. Let's see here. This has got to be one of the probes. This is the pH probe. Um, pretty self explanatory as to what that does. Looks like it's in a nice uh, casing there on the tip to make sure that it doesn't uh, get ruined. The second probe is a conductivity probe like. Uh, you can use this to measure or at least try to measure um, salinity. I probably wouldn't use this as my main uh, source of salinity check. I would always check it with the refractometer just because the conductivity probe can measure other things as well. But it's a nice uh, continuous check that you can, uh, you can see um, if something wacky goes on. Second one is it says pH and redox electrode, but I'm guessing this is the redox or ORP probe oxidation reduction potential. It's a pretty complicated measurement. I think that's a video for uh, another time, but it's a pretty useful data point as well. And here we've got some cables. Um, looks like what's that? Uh, temperature probe, uh, just pad cable or ethernet cable, and that's it, maybe some other cables for attaching things to the back. This is power adapter, just to keep the whole um, controller powered up, it looks like a standard 12 volt. DC converter. And lastly, here, this is some more power cords. This is the power bar. Now, this is a 6E power bar. Um, so it has six outlets, and um, each individual outlet is controllable through the Profilux. Um, you can monitor the power draw from them as well. Um, which is really, really quite useful. Um, now, nice solid construction here. Um, you've got lights, indicator lights on the left, 
um, light up logo it seems mounting brackets and, uh, just a reset and switch on the left there uh, overall really sturdy and a nice quality construction on this on this power bar inside here looks like uh, just a product catalog um, yeah really nice overall just a lot of different things you can use the Proflux 4 for and there's all types of attachments that you can add uh, if there's anything specific that you're interested in. I'll leave that here on the side. And lastly, this is the main component. Profile looks four. It looks like it's completely. See, let me get my knife real quick. Okay. I like the packaging. It's, you know, it feels everything is, is nice and secured okay look at that you can see the camera there nice and shiny it's just looks just like the doser it has a GHJ logo on it's a little bit thinner uh, it's got a nice screen on the front Wi-Fi and an alarm indicator uh, control um, controls and um, let's see here on the back nothing's on the back there just a bunch of different um, connections for the probes uh, connections for your PAB cable or your dosers or power bars uh, and that, and yeah the expandable slot there on the right and looks like a bunch of different uh, other slots for um, auxiliary cables and uh, miscellaneous equipment that you want to add. Let's see here, let me try to get everything in the shot. Okay, let's put that on the side there. Overall, really good looking set. Can't wait to install it on my tank. Um, I'll be doing a setup video of how I'm going to install the equipment as well as uh, how I plan on programming my Proflux for controlling uh, my tank. So make sure to subscribe so you can get a notification when that video uh, is uploaded if you're interested in that. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys.